Hello, it's Dr. Joel Simmons uh, from Ohio Herbal Clinic, and today we're going to talk about uh, Columbus, Ohio dispensaries. Um, so I'd like to just take time to give a brief update, uh, bring people up to speed as to what is uh, available, which dispensaries are available, what's going on with the dispensaries that uh, haven't opened. So um, initially, uh, Columbus was awarded five um, preliminary licenses for dispensaries. Um, as of today, three of those uh, licenses, uh, uh, licensees have actually made it to the finish line and been awarded their certificate of operation. Uh, two of them have been in business for quite some time. The third was awarded their certificate last week. Uh, so let's just talk about those. The first is Terrasana Dispensary. They're located at 656 Grandview Avenue over in Grandview. Um, the second dispensary uh, is Bloom uh, Medicinals. They're uh, located a little bit more west um, at, six, at 1361 uh, Georgesville Road. Uh, those are the two dispensaries that are currently open uh, in Columbus. Um, a third dispensary received its certificate of operation um, uh, actually last week, um, and that is Verdant Creations, uh, which is located at 1243 North Cassidy Avenue. Um, which is towards the airport. Um, typically what we've been seeing is a pattern of dispensaries receiving their certificates operation and taking you know seven to ten days to open up so uh, we're hopeful that uh, this dispensary uh, will be opening um, any day now um, and we're also excited because um, this is uh, a dispensary that's the physical location closest to our, our uh, clinic here. We're at 1830 East Broad Street um, directly across from Franklin Park Conservatory, located between downtown and Bexley. Um, let's talk about a fourth dispensary, The Botanist, uh, which is located at 111 Vine Street. Um, they uh, recently just came to uh, a settlement with the Ohio Board of Pharmacy. Um, the pharmacy was challenging their ownership. Um, there, was, uh, there were some loans and things that made it seem like potentially there was a transfer of ownership and um, technically ownership can't be transferred uh, with, uh, within the first year of a dispensary being open so um, let alone not even opening yet so um, that was uh, the, the, the hold up with the botanist but they've come to a settlement and it looks like that pretty soon we'll be having our fourth uh, dispensary receiving their certificate of operation in the botanist. I know they, they're excited. I've actually uh, been over there and visited um, and, 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 uh, and the building looks like it's, you know, they look like they're ready to open their doors. So um, that should be the fourth dispensary. The fifth dispensary um, is, uh, is, is also in, in a legal battle. Um, that's Harvest uh, at 2950 North High Street. Um, uh, which is located in Clintonville. Um, essentially, uh, what's going on with Harvest is they um, were awarded their certificate, uh, sorry, their preliminary um, license uh, under uh, a minority set aside. And so what's being challenged is um, the fact that uh, the actual day-to-day -day operations uh, may not be under the control of the of the person who uh, was uh, uh, awarded the license as a minority. So um, that's a tough uh, a, a, a tough challenge, um, and so I'm not sure how uh, how that's coming along from a legal standpoint. But um, hopefully that, uh, that brings people up to, to speed. Uh, essentially, we've got three dispensaries in Columbus with certificates of operation, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, we're more than halfway there. Uh, the fourth one um, it looks like got over a major hurdle, uh, major legal hurdle. So I'm hoping we're going to have uh, four dispensaries here pretty soon uh, for uh, patients in Columbus to have access to. Um, and uh, that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in and uh, feel free to follow uh, our YouTube channel. Thanks.